Welcome to our Laravel tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers to Laravel encounter. Our viewer is trying to validate a JSON object, specifically a payload containing user information. They want to ensure that the name field only contains digits, but they're running into an issue where the validation isn't working as expected. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help them out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the JSON object you want to validate. The object is named payload and contains various fields such as name, email, password, and more. In your validation code, you're currently using the digits rule for the name field. This rule checks if the value consists only of digits. Since the name JSON123 contains letters, it should not pass the validation. To fix this, you need to use a different validation rule. After updating the validation rules, your code should look like this. This will ensure that the name field is validated correctly. Finally, remember to test your validation by sending different payloads to ensure that it behaves as expected. This will help you catch any issues early. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To validate a JSON object in Laravel, start by structuring your payload correctly. Use the validate method on the request object. If you're not sending a payload key, you can simply use the all method to validate the entire request. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To validate a JSON object in Laravel, first, merge the request data. If metadata is not null, encode it as JSON. Then create a validator to check if metadata is nullable in a valid JSON format. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To validate a JSON object in Laravel, use the validator factory class instead of the validate method from the controller's trait. First, decode the JSON payload into an array. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.